Hello guys, I welcome you all to Engineers Academy. Now we are going to solve this problem from chapter 2. And the problem says that for the hook support of problem 210, determine by trigonometry the magnitude and direction of the smallest force P, for which the resultant R of the two forces applied to the support is horizontal, and the corresponding magnitude of the resultant. So we are given this hook in problem 210. We are given this uh, force of 50 Newton. It is making 25 degrees with the horizontal. And we have to find the smallest force P in order to have the resultant in the horizontal direction. So as we know that we always get the resultant by adding uh, these two vectors by head to tail rule. So in the problem statement, we are we are bound that the resultant must be in the horizontal direction. So let's say that this is my uh, 50 Newton force, which is given, which is making uh, 25 degrees. So this is 25 degrees with the horizontal. This is magnitude of 50 Newton. So in order to get the resultant, we need to add that force P uh, with this 50 Newton force by head to tail rule. So this is that force P. So we will get its resultant if we draw a vector from the tail of this 50 Newton force to the head of that force P. So this will be a resultant. But in the problem statement it is said that we need to have the smallest force P. We need to have the, the length of this force P a small a is possible which tells us the magnitude of this force P. So now let's say, the, um, so from the problem statement, we know that the resultant must act, must act along this dashed line. That, that is the problem constraint. So if the resultant is along this straight line, the only choice for us is to move this force P along this uh, dashed line in order to have the smallest magnitude of this force P. So now if, uh, if I move the head of this force P towards the left, so its length is increasing. And similarly, if I move the head of this force P along this dashed line towards the right, its, its length is decreasing. And at some point, the length of this force P will become minimum. And that, and that particular point, at that particular instant when the length of this force P become minimum, at that particular point, this will be perpendicular to this horizontal line along which the resultant is acting. And after that particular point, if I move the head of this force P, again, its length will start increasing like that. So from all this discussion, we can conclude that if you want to have the resultant in the horizontal direction, if you, and if you want to have the minimum force P, then this force P must be perpendicular to the horizontal line or we can say that this force p must be perpendicular with the line of action of this resultant so we can conclude that p must be perpendicular to the horizontal or we can say that it must be perpendicular to the resultant in order to have its magnitude as small as possible. So now if, if this is the case, if this force P is perpendicular with the horizontal, then the resultant must be from the, from the tail of uh, that 50 Newton force to the head of that force P. So this will be our required resultant then. So this is my resultant. So let me write that this is now, this green arrow is now our resultant and this pink arrow is our force P. Now we need to find that smallest force P magnitude. So we can say that uh, our, this uh, P force, if we consider this right angle triangle, then we can say that uh, P is the sine component of this force P since force P is 
opposite to this angle so we can say that p is the sine component of that 50 newton force so we can say that this is 50 sine of 25 degrees and similarly we can say that r is 50 cos of 25 degrees since r is adjacent to that angle so uh, 50 sine of 25 this is approximately 21.13 so p is 21.13 newton and this is the smallest force p and the resultant is 50 cos of 25 so this is approximately 45.32 newton so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope it will help you in your learning do subscribe engineers academy if it helps in your learning